um, a woman has sued Walmart for keeping African-American beauty products, quote, segregated, unquote, behind glass. Gloria Allred is the warrior. This, wait till you hear this. This, this, this is great. Wait, wait till you hear it. Be right back here. Don't go. <laughs> and as is the case each and every day, meeting and surpassing all audience expectations every day. A one and only Rush Limbaugh Institute for advanced conservative studies, advanced anti-leftist and anti-media studies. And happy to have you with us, 800-282-2882, if you want to be on the program. Okay, here we go. This <laughs> probably going to get in trouble for laughing at this, but I'm sorry, my friends. I simply can't help it. A California woman. By the way, the website here is Law and Crime. I think that's Dan Abrams' website. Um, not that maybe law. For, no, that there's so many law this, law that. But I, I think this is Dan Abrams. I don't know. I'd like to source it as best I can. It's a legitimate site. The point. A, a California woman says that Walmart has been locking up black women's hair products behind glass, while items aimed at other races are not locked up behind glass. Essie Grundy is her name, and she is backed by the famous agitation warrior Gloria Allred, announced her lawsuit on Friday. Now, what what's going on here is, is that in this particular Walmart store, African-American beauty products are stolen. They are shoplifted with a much greater frequency than uh, others. And so Walmart, as standard good business practice would be, has decided to make it tougher to shoplift these items. And so therefore, Walmart is being sued for discrimination because it's only African-American hair products which are now harder to steal. I mean, that's what it boils down to. And I know I'm going to catch heat for it, but that's what this is. I would like the glass to go down and for things to go back to the way it was, where it's not segregated and everything is where everyone can get what they need said Essie Grundy in a press conference covered by NBC News in Los Angeles. Essie Grundy, who is African-American, wanted to buy a lotion brand for her children at a location in the city of Paris, P-E-R-R-I-S. But she discovered it was set behind glass, as were other beauty products aimed at black women. She couldn't even touch the product until after an employee walked it to the register. Essie Gundy said she returned to the same location later to buy a 48-cent comb and discovered that it, too, was behind glass. Gloria Allred said they're looking for an apology from Walmart and a court injunction to stop the practice. A Walmart spokesman said, well... You know, we're sensitive to this situation, and we also understand, like other retailers, that some products, like electronics, automotive, cosmetics, and other personal care products, are subject to additional security. Those determinations are made on a store-by-store -store basis using data supporting the need for the heightened measures. While we've yet to review the complaint, we take the situation seriously. We look forward to addressing it with the court. So... <laughs> They take it seriously. That is the problem. They take it seriously. They're taking it too seriously. Uh, it, it, Walmart should realize that if people want it, they should have it.